Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to have some discussion about MCQs of class Mammalia. Let's move to the question number one. Question number one is about evolution of mammals. The synapses diverge from other amniotes lineage during. Synapses, they are the ancestors of mammals and uh, they diverge from other amniotic lineages during Carboniferous period. So right option is beta. As you can see over in this uh, phylogenetic tree, that mammals, they have evolved from the mammals known as synapsids. That's why right option over here is beta, which is showing the origin and carboniferous period. The first mammals, they were probably smaller in size and nocturnal because at the time there were larger reptiles. It's the first, uh, or at least one of the earliest mammals shown in this picture, that is artistic representation. Number three, which of the following is not an exclusive feature of mammals? Mammals, they fear mammary glands and ear ossicles as their exclusive features. But endothermy is not their distinguishing or exclusive features. It is shown by other groups such as birds as well. So right option is alpha. Number four, squirrels and rats, they belong to which order of the mammals? They belong to order Rodentia. And rabbits, they belong to order Legomorpha. While diving mammals, they belong to Cetaceans. And elephants, they belong to order Proboscidea. Right option over here is Charlie. Number five, all of the following are members of order Carnivora, except dogs, cats, and whales. They belong to order Carnivora, but blue whale, they are actually cetaceans or diving mammals. So right option is Delta. Hedgehog, mole, and shoes. They are the members of order Insectivora, insect-eating animals. Hedgehog, mole, or different types of shoe. They are insectivorous mammals. So right option, Charlie. Marsupial mammals are also known as metatherians. As you know, prototherians are egg-laying mammals, metatherians are marsupial mammals, and eutherians, they are the mammals which are known as placental mammals. And monotremes, they are also prototherian uh, groups. And marsupial include a different example such as kangaroo, Numcat, Castile, Marsupial Mouse, Wombat, Marsupial Mole, Sugar, Glider, and Spotted Tail Native Cat. So right option over here is Beta. Number eight. Keratinized hair in mammals are derivatives of which part of the skin? It is a uh, here they are usually derived from epidermis, so right option is alpha. And they penetrate deep into the dermis, but they are actually penetrations, uh, penetrated part, and they are the ex extensions of epidermis only. So right option is alpha. Number nine, vibrissae in mammals. They are very sensitive to displacement and may be found around. Which part of the body? Legs and now nose mouth as well as eyes. They are found in different animals at different sites. So right option is delta. Here are some uh, vibrissae of cats shown. Number 10, erector pili muscles at the base of hair. They help in goosebumps and insulation ultimately. They are under the control of which type of nervous system or which part of the nervous system. They are controlled by autonomic nervous system. And these rectal pili muscles, they are found at the base of hair, ultimately helping in the hair erection during goosebumps. Hair color is dependent upon the melanin pigment. And in which of the falling part of hair, melanin pigment is mainly deposited. It is also deposited in different uh, parts of the hair, but usually it is abundantly found in hair shaft. So right option in this case will be beta. The hair shaft is rich in melanin pigment. And the cortex of hair shaft is located between the hair cuticle 
and medulla as you can see over here and it is also known as a thick thickest hair layer it also contain most of the hair pigment that's why right option will be hair shaft question number 12 which of the following term is not related to sweat glands sweat glands are also known as sudoriferous glands or they're also known as there are basically two types of sweat glands one of them is eccrine and another is apocrine but we know sebaceous glands they are responsible for the secretion of sebum so right option is delta and two types of sweat glands apocrine and eccrine eccrine glands they occur over most of your body and open directly onto the surface of your skin as you can see some eccrine glands shown over here in this diagram they're opening outside in the sweat pores but apocrine glands they open into the hair follicle as you can see over here apocrine glands leading to the surface of skin so right option in this case is delta that sebaceous gland is not related to the sweat glands Mammary glands are probably derived evolutionary, evolutionarily from, they are the derivative forms or considered as derivative forms of <clears throat> apocrine glands. So right option is delta. Number 14, reptilian teeth are dash and mammalian teeth are dash. Reptilian teeth, yeah, they are usually homodont while mammalian teeth, they have developed some sort of specialization by developing the condition of heterodont teeth arrangement. So right option is alpha. Number 15, how many canines are found in the beaver? Beaver have no canines. So right option is alpha. As you can see, an omnivore animals like human, they have one canine. And an herbivore, the male deer, as well as a rodent, the beaver, they are having a gap instead. That is known as diastema. Which of the following mammals show reduced teeth? Reduced teeth are found in armadillos as well as spiny ant eater. So right option is delta. Nine teeth are the characteristic feature of rodentia as well as legomorpha. Rodents include shoes and legomorpha, it includes rabbits. So right option is delta. Which of the following animals show growth of incisors throughout their life? Incisors grow in rodents throughout life. That's why right option will be alpha. While in other animals, ungulates, they are usually do not having incisors. Omnivores, they grow the incisor in permanent teeth as well as in the deceded teeth, but not throughout their life. Which of the following mammalian order possesses carnassial apparatus is found in order of carnivora for further digestion of large chunks of food, especially meat. As you can see, a carnassial teeth uh, found in the back of the uh, other heterodont teeth. So right option is beta. How many regions are there in vertebral column of mammals? Usually there are five regions including cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral, and coccygeal region. In case of um, human being, there are four curvatures only, sacral and coccygeal region, they are usually combined. Due to missing tail. So right option is beta. What is the number of cervical vertebrae in giraffe and whale respectively? Most of the mammals, they are having seven vertebrae. So right option in this case is Charlie. Here are the vertebrae of uh, a giraffe shown in this picture. There are seven in number. And most of the mammals, they're having seven vertebrae, except the two toed sloths that is having six, and three toed sloth that is having nine cervical vertebrae. Number 22. How many pair of ribs are directly attached to the vertebral column in human? As you see, human vertebral column and the ribcage, the 12 
pair are present and which are directly attached to the vertebral column. But out of this 12, only 7 are directly attached to the sternum. 3 are indirectly attached to the sternum through coastal arch. And 2 of them, they are floating ribs which are not attached on the front side. But on the back side, out of these 12 vertebrae, all are attached. The 12 rib pairs, all are attached with the vertebral column. So right option is Charlie. The pair of ribs which are directly attached with the vertebral column, they are 12. In most of the running mammals, the amount of muscles in lower legs, as compared to the slow moving mammals, is usually lesser or fewer. And shoes, they are insectivorous mammals, as with other hedgehog and other organisms. And large cecum at the junction of small and large intestine is observed in rodents as well as in horses and rabbits. Foramen ovale in the fetal heart of mammal is the opening between two atria and during fetal circulation, the most of the blood it moves through foramen ovale from right atrium to the left atrium that's why the right option over here is alpha. Surface temperature in the walrus found in the cold Arctic water is almost near zero degrees Celsius, but core body temperature is still maintained. So right option over here is alpha. Bears and their cones undergo a period of inactivity called winter sleep. And which of the following is the most obvious change in the nervous system of mammals? It is obviously the enlarged cerebrum during the course of long evolutionary history, which has been the better interpretation as compared to other groups. Which of the following sense is more developed in reptiles and birds as compared to mammals? Reptile and birds are having better color vision as compared to mammals. That's why right option is Charlie. Hearing, smell, and cognition, they are comparatively better developed in the mammals. As you can see, bird color vision is much better and much clear as compared to human. And reptiles, as far as reptiles are concerned, their curves show that they have four color receptors, while mammals, they have only three types of cones. Mammalian kidneys, they are metanephric types of kidneys. So right option is Charlie. Which of the following is always a major cause of water loss in mammals? Although just some sweating, excretion or expiration, they cause loss of water, but the major pathway, major route is excretion always, which is involved in the loss of water. Which of the following diet can reduce water loss by excretion? A diet low in proteins will, per, will cause low production of urea and hence low amount of water is excreted out. Which of the following group of mammals uses grooming to maintain healthy pelvis? They are the primates which have developed grooming as well to maintain a healthy primate, a healthy palate. So right option is Charlie. Which of the following habit in mammals Freed them from the need of nesting. That was viviparity. That is, the females do not need to incubate. Which of the following mammals they show coitus induced ovulation? Coitus induced ovulation is observed in rabbits, ferrets, as well as minks. That is, they produce eggs. You are very familiar with the rabbits, but parrots, they are shown in the first picture and second picture is about minks. They ovulate eggs only after ovulation, uh, only after mating or physical stimulus from the male member. Repetition of estrocycle cycle in every four to six days is observed in rats as well as mice. But the other mammals, they are having relatively larger estrous cycle. Which of the following mammal is monoestrous? Monoestrous mammals, uh, are mammal of, of these four, are the foxes, while wild bears and wild dogs, they show diastrous period. Monotremes, they are, they are actually egg-laying mammals, and 
That's why they are known as OV fibers. So right option is alpha. Gestation period in mouse is around about 20 days or 18 to 22 days. So right option in this case will be alpha. That was all about uh, certain questions, certain important points about the mammals. In the next video, we'll try to cover some general knowledge questions with reference to PPSC or other exams. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Allah Hafiz.